Hey guys, welcome back to another video of me getting ready to move to a different country. Yesterday, I saw The Minimalists they have a movie on Netflix now, The Minimalists Less Is Now. It really helped me understand why I was enjoying it so much and why this is beneficial. If you are saying this is not for me, this is just too hard, this is nice, but I don't see myself doing it, just do one thing, one action item, just go see that movie. If you're a bit confused about what's going on in my videos, you could go uh, and check out the first video I made, which kind of explains the structure of my videos. I probably will make another video explaining the process that I'm going through at some point. I think that while doing these videos, I'm kind of refining in my mind process that I'm going through and I would like to explain it in the best way possible so I'm not rushing to do that. This week I have two things in a category that I haven't used yet. It's food. Cooking sake, this vinegar. When I'm cooking I just try to finish everything that I already have in my pantry the things in your pantry tend to just lie around and you never get to them things that i currently have in my pantry are mostly asian cooking ingredients i decided that i wanted to appreciate more the local food and israeli food and my mother's cooking things that i will not be able to experience when I'm in Japan, not every day anyway, in order to get excited when I do get to Japan about the food and everything. These days, I mainly use just an Israeli food recipe book. Israeli food is just a bunch of different cultures coming together. Every family here has their own traditional dishes. But there are some dishes that you would say, yeah, that reminds me of Israel, that reminds me of home. I never knew how to cook these kind of foods. I come from a family of Russians, and my mom never cooked these kind of foods. That's not the way she grew up. I would usually just try them at my friends' houses or at restaurants. I'm going through the book that I need to get rid of, and other than that, I'm also going through my pantry and really trying not to buy anything. It's not for a recipe from the book. I heard that lentils are not that easy to find in Japan. Lentils are a big part of Mediterranean cuisine and are very nutritious. So I try to consume as much of them as possible while I'm still here. This three lentil soup was so good. Next thing that I have that I finished this week is this uh, gentle toning lotion. Probably wouldn't be using it if I didn't have it. So I'm glad I finished it. Hand sanitizer. Yeah, it's empty. Plus, this week I'm also wearing quite a bit of makeup, trying to get rid of makeup that I own. This gets me to try some of the makeup that I have and realize 
which uh, makeup I can get rid of. I have two mascaras and one eyeliner. They're all dry. This is quite random, but those pieces of wood are meant to hold a coaster which has a writing on it. You could use it as a coaster, but you could also just like stand it up. That's the point of this. So you like put it together and then you can just put the coaster on your table and just look at it if you don't want to use it. I don't need these parts. I just need the actual coaster and it's actually used. These sunglasses, which I don't think are very flattering. I haven't worn them in like 10 years probably. Jewelry, this bracelet, these earrings. They're quite long. To be honest, I never actually found anything to pair them with and actually worn them out. Same goes for these, these earrings. Again, I just don't wear them. That's it. It's a process and more than that, it's a mindset. I think what's important is the consumer mindset, that the things in your life actually add value to your life. They don't waste your time. I never intended to become a minimalist, but I feel like it has always been a part of me and a part of my worldview. I currently live with my parents because I'm getting ready to move. So renting an apartment would be quite a waste for me right now. Living in a one room space, which is not small, I have quite a big room, but I have so many things. I cannot imagine people that have a whole house of things. And I get so overwhelmed with the things that I have in my room. I want to be productive and I want to be able to things that make me happy but when you have so many things in your space they take up so much of your energy thinking about them if you see them or you know they're there and you know that you need to get to them at some point it stresses you out even if you don't realize it and personally, I try to live my life as stress-free as possible. Life is going to throw things at you, and that's okay. But I try to improve the things that I have control over. This is one of those things that you can control the space that they take in your mind and in your room. Clearly, I'm very excited about this. Uh, I think at this point, this is the clearest these ideas have been in my mind. That's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me once again. If you find this kind of content useful in any way, shape, or form, please stick around and I would love to share this journey with you. Bye!